Sutherland is one of the few rare booksellers in the UK to still have a dedicated natural history department, and our love of the natural world goes back a long way. It's a well-known landmark of our history that we bought the estate of the great ornithologist John Gould in the 1880s, and we've been dealing in his lavish books and prints ever since. Gould wasn't just the publisher of amazing bird books, he was also one of the most important naturalists of his generation. Without his work on classifying the finches that Charles Darwin found in the Galapagos, Darwin might never have formulated the theory of natural selection. That great scientific breakthrough is something else that Southerns loves to celebrate, and we have made a speciality of dealing with work by Darwin, including first editions of The Origin of Species, The Voyage of the Beagle, and The Descent of Man. Darwin had some great collaborators, and we always like to represent such naturalists as Alfred Russell Wallace, T. H. Huxley, and J. D. Hooker. His opponents were fascinating too. Who can forget Richard Owen, the master anatomist who founded the Natural History Museum, or the work of P.H. Goss, the genius of natural observation, neither of whom could accept evolution for religious reasons. Our natural history department is not just about scientific controversy though. We're also here to simply revel in the natural world. We can't resist beautiful bird books, such as this lovely set of Morris's British Birds, or George Edwards' History of Uncommon Birds. Flower books are often special. This copy of Thornton's Temple of Flora is an absolute highlight. We're also partial to a good animal or two. Sometimes we are tempted by original works of art, such as this Art Deco Hymn to Bird Life, or this exquisite 19th century French botanical album. We also remember that the love of nature is often an active pursuit, and we make sure we have vintage field guides that fit in the pocket. We're here for anyone who loves the natural world and wants to see how people have celebrated it throughout history, from the ancient to the modern.